Praying can easily become boring. And praying can easily be mechanical. Right? Sometimes, nagpe-pray ka sa gabi, bigla ang prayer mo na pala yung four meals. Sinong nakaranas nun? Oh, yung nagiging mechanical, yung prayer for food, dapat palipat sa kung ano ng mga prayer, it can so easily happen. And let's quickly discuss praying with results. Heavenly Father, we pray that you're going to open up our hearts, our minds to you, and we pray for anointing so we may understand you. May your spirit descend upon us. We reject and rebuke all work of evil, and we welcome only your ministrations unto us. Be the speaker tonight. Be the one to answer our questions. Speak to us with power and majesty. We seek you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So it's a Matthew 21, 22. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. And if you don't get excited because of that verse, then something really is amiss with your prayer life. So if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Ganon ka powerful yung prayer. So how can we have prayers that will bring results? Pray sincere prayers. Dapat sincere. Huwag kayong magpe-pray ng mechanical lang. Huwag kayong magpe-pray ng hindi niya naman talaga mean ipag-pray. You know, sometimes there are people who come to you and say, Can you pray for me about this? I doubt because I don't have the conviction to pray along that line. Kasi ayoko nagpe-pray ng hindi talaga ako sincere. I don't like to pray for a certain thing to happen na hindi ko naman talaga gustong mangyari. O kaya ay uh, napipilitan lang ako na ipag-pray yun. O kaya sabihin sa taong, o sige, ipag-pray kita kasi you expect me to pray for you. I'm not teaching you to refuse prayer requests. What I'm trying to say is this, pray with sincerity. How can God be convinced with your prayer when you yourself are not convinced? So kailangan ng gagaling sa puso. Sabi sa James 5.16, Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. In other words, may I add this, pray from the point of view of righteousness or from the point of righteousness. Na must, hindi, nobody can be perfectly righteous. Nobody can be per- righteous enough to be saved and nobody can be righteous enough to merit anything from God. But, yung attempt natin at righteousness is an important ingredient of prayer. Marami mga tao, hindi siguro prayerful o kaya walang gana magpray. eh siguro hindi righteous. I'm saying this, wala talagang totoong righteous kung isipin natin yung righteousness of God. But, yun namang sa ating area of life, alam naman natin when we can be righteous eh. And when we are choosing not to be righteous. Not to choose righteousness directly affects our prayer life. That if we always live in the path of righteousness, Sometimes medyo napapalagay ka sa left, sa right, pero nandun ka rin sa path na yun, the same direction. Iba naman yung sa north ka pupunta, tapos biglang nasa south ka na, ang layo nun. Right? Pero kumisan patungo kang bagyo, pero biglang napatagaan ka, wala sa may baliwag, wala papunta ka sa may bataan, medyo out of the way, pero hindi naman katulad kung nandun ka na sa matnog, sa sorsogon, iba na yun. Right? So we attempt at righteousness, and this affects our prayer life. And pray because you are convinced in your heart. And if you are not convinced in your heart to pray for something and you know that it's good to pray for that, ask the Lord, Lord, let my spirit be one with your spirit so that I may really have the burden to pray for it. We cannot fake prayer. So many pray simply from habit. Don't pray from habit. Sometimes I really intentionally not pray, say, before eating, para lang Huwag kong maging habit talaga na talaga nagpe-pray lang ako mechanically kasi ting kakain, nagpe-pray ka. Sometimes you break such habits para fresh ang pagtingin mo sa yung ginagawa. Hindi ka nagiging mechanical. Don't pray simply because of habit. And don't pray to impress. Definitely don't. Huwag kang ang tagal-tagal mo mag-pray. Kung minsan, kung natutulog ka lang by yourself, ang iksi-iksi ng prayer. Pero nakuha, pag may mga nakikitulog na Christian sa yung room, o kaya camp, o retreat, katagal-tagal mag-pray. Yung pala, dahil may audience, baka naman masabi niya na hindi ako magpe-pray. Kaya ako sa mga camp, o kahit sa anong mga retreat, ayoko na may mga roommates eh. Baka ako, obserbahan kung gaano ako katagal magdasal. Baka naman ako ngayon, eh patunayan kung matagal ako magdasal, magituloy akong fake. So I try not to be surrounded by so many people. Because you know, there are people na napaka-judgmental na pati haba ng dasal mo o orasan titingnan. So, what I'm trying to say is this. Don't pray to impress. Don't pray out of duty that because you feel obligated to do so. 
At huwag kayong magdadasal ng mga patsyamba-tsyamba na, oh, baka naman ibigay din ni Lord, eh, kung ayaw niya, di huwag o something. Walang mararating yung ganong klaseng prayer. Yung, sige na nga, ipag-pray na, edi eh, kung wala, wala, kung meron, malay mo. Yung ganong klaseng prayer, kailangan you come from a point of faith. And then, which brings me to another point, we must pray earnestly. Yung masigasig and without pretense. Sabi sa Ephesians 6.18, and pray in the Spirit. That's pregnant with meaning to say, pray in the Spirit. Meaning, guided by the Spirit. And not only that, in the realm of the Spirit. May mga bagay kasi kumisan, in the realm of the world, you reason natin, gusto natin A. Pero if you're in the realm of the Spirit, B dapat. So ang susundin natin yung Spirit. Pray earnestly and without pretense and pray in the Spirit. Sabi, on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. It is very, very important to keep that that we pray in the Spirit. That whenever you pray, you say, ano nga ba mga ipagpe-pray ko? Kaya tuloy nagbumukang parang shopping list ang prayer. Dapat sabi natin, Holy Spirit, what should I pray for? Teach me what to pray for and teach me how to pray. We pray in the Spirit. Prayer is a spiritual activity. It's not an intellectual exercise. It is not a mental exercise. It is an act in the spiritual level. To the point that you transcend the body, you transcend reason sometimes, and you transcend the material. Sometimes you transcend even your own desires, and you pray for something that's directly opposite what you really like. But that is praying in the Spirit. Sincere prayers receive answers. Parang alam ba, babae kami nang liligaw na, ano, sabi mo sa, ano ba talaga ang gusto mo sa akin? Sabi naman nang liligaw, eh, kung trip mo ako, okay lang, kung ayaw mo, okay lang din, ganyan, ganyan, you know, eh, napakalaki naman ng kakulangan ng inyong utak, mga babae, kung sasagutin nyo pa ng oo yung ganong klaseng lalaki na liligaw na, eh, kung okay, malay mo, matsambahan, matripan mo rin ako, pero kung ayaw mo, okay lang. Alam mo na hindi to sincere. Kaya kailangan merong sincerity ang prayer. And then, pray very specific prayers. Philippians 4.6, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. I'm not telling you anything new. Pero dapat naaalala uli natin yung mga dating ba, mga alam na natin. Some prayers are so vague that they will never get an answer. One of the exciting things about prayer is this, receiving the answers. But how will you know if you are already receiving the answer if the prayer is vague? Pasin mo, Lord, bigyan niyo po ako ng prosperity. O anong malay mo kung dumadating na ba yung prosperity or not? Or is what is happening already an answer to your prayer or what? It should be specific. Hindi dapat magulo. Kailangan kung ipagpe-pray mo, halimbawa, you are praying for money, you pray for an amount. You are praying for grades, you pray for numbers. You are praying for something, you quantify, you qualify. Kailangan specific ang prayer para alam mo na sinagot. And I tell you, it's very exciting. Kaya may mga tao, Lord, kailangan-kailangan po namin ng 8,324 pesos bukas. O ganyan. Alam nyo, may mga nakaka-receive talaga, ganun. Isa ba, grabe. Alam nyo yung strengthening ng faith? Sobra. Eh kung general, Lord, tulungan nyo po ako mabayaran ng mga obligations ko bukas. May mga dumarating, pero ang blur eh, hindi clear. And you know, I think, this is a personal opinion, one of the reasons why the Lord loves to answer prayer is because He loves us to see get excited that we are getting answered. Eh, nakakatamad naman yung sinagot mo na yung prayer tapos hindi pa halos mapansin-pansin nung sinagot mo. Hindi niya na-appreciate. Para rin lalaki ng liligaw na nung sabihin ng babaeng, oh, sige, yes na nga. Yung lalaki naman, nakaganyan lang. Sabi ng babae, na, tinig kaya niya. Oh, yes na nga. Oh, ganyan. Parang, di ba? You expect naman a reaction. Eh, kaya si Lord siguro kung minsan tinatamad ang bigyan tayo ng maraming blessing kasi nagbibigay siya, sinasagot niya mga prayer, pero wala tayong reaction. Ang gusto ni Lord, yung interaction ay yung fellowship. And the excitement is in getting very specific prayers. How many of you pray specifically? Patingin. One, two. Ayan. O, ganun, ka, gano'ng karaming specific sa inyong sagot na no? O, di ba? Exciting din nyo kahit no. Tatanggapin nyo kahit no. Remember, the Lord knows what's best. Kaya, Lord, thank you at no. Sa totoo lang po, hindi ako sincere na nagta-thank you, pero knowing that you know better than I, much, much better, thank you. 
One of the things that we really have to learn in our prayer life is to take no for an answer. Hindi naman lahat ng prayer, yes, siyempre ang sagot. May no, merong wait. Kaya yung wait, hintayin. Kaya kailangan specific. Alam natin kung dumarating na yung sagot. Sabi sa isang example dito sa Mark 10, 51 to 52, sabi ni uh, Lord Don K. Bartimaeus, What do you want me to do for you? At sabi naman, hindi na sinabi ni Bartimaeus na improve my life or make me happy, di ba? Or help me to be productive. Ang sabi niya, Lord, I want to see. Kasi blind siya eh. Sabi naman ni Lord, Your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Kailangan specific. Very, very specific. Yun ang itrain natin ang sarili natin sa specific prayer. So Bartimaeus responded with a specific request and he received a very specific answer. Another way to get our prayers answered, be selfless in your prayers. Marami sa ating mga prayer napaka-selfish eh. Give me this, give me this, give me that. Kill my enemies. ba? Yung... Silence my critics. Yung puro ganon. Uh, Napaka-selfish. Ang isang paraan para bumukas yung blessing, kumbaga yung mga bara matanggal, selfless prayer. Sabi sa James 5.16, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Many people pray so selfish, selfishly that they never get answers. Hindi nila naiintindihan yung mechanics, yung theology, yung formula ng prayer that it must begin from a clean heart, it must begin from an expecting, believing heart, and it must come from a heart that has love in it. Love for others. And love for self also. But love for others also. So we should pray for others. Napakalaking halaga that you are praying for others. May sakit siya, ipagpe-pray mo. Alam niyo ba na may mga taong pinakikinggan at may hindi? At sa latest issue ng Time Magazine, or last week or two weeks ago, yung tungkol sa healing through faith, marami mga experiments na ginawa sa mga Western hospitals, particularly sa Amerika, na merong mga AIDS patients. Yung lima, hiningi nila ng mga volunteers to pray for these five patients. Merong limang patients, walang nagpe-pray para sa kanila. And over some time, under laboratory circumstances, no, mas dramatic yung recovery o yung feeling of wellness nung lima na may nagpe-pray para sa kanila kaya sa yung limang wala nagpe-pray para sa kanila. It is important to pray for other people. If you do not totally understand why, just keep praying. Later on, probably, we will understand. Sa so Job 42, 8 to 10, there is an example here. Yung mga kaibigan ni Job na nagkasala, Eto, sino magpe-pray para sa kanila? So now, take seven bulls and seven rams and go to my servant Job and sacrifice a burnt offerings for yourselves. Sabi ni Lord sa tatlong kaibigan ni Job na mga nagkamali. My servant Job will pray for you and I will accept his prayer and not deal with you according to your folly. You have not spoken for me what is right as my servant Job has. So Eliphaz, the Temanite, Bildad, the Shutite, and so far the Nehemiahite did what the Lord told them. And the Lord accepted Job's prayer. After Job has prayed for his friends, the Lord made him prosperous again and gave him twice as much as he had before. Gusto kong pansinin ninyo ang detalye ng istorya. Ang tatlong kaibigan ni Job naging judgmental. Dinad sila si Job. E na-realize sila na sila'y wrong. Nagpe-pray sila. For God's forgiveness. And the Lord said, I will not want your prayers. Kung gusto ninyo, magdala kayo kay Job ng mga ram at mga bulls at siya ang mag-o-offer para sa inyo at pag siya ang nagdasal, diringgin ko. At, sinabi nga dito, ginawa niya yun and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. And what happened? The three were, what? Restored unto the Lord. But the important thing, I like you to emphasize is this. And, the Lord made Job prosperous again and gave him twice as much as he had before. Eh kung hindi kaya niya ipinagdasal yung mga kaibigan niya na namintas ng namintas at nagpahirap sa kanya. Hindi nga siguro na-restore na kay Lord yung tatlo, pero siya rin, hindi siya makakareceive ng blessing. 
alam nyo ba, siguro maraming blessing na nakareserva para sa inyo, pero inaantay muna ni Lord, ay pag-pray nyo muna yung iba, bago niya ibigay. Kaya siguro marami mga blessing hindi natin natatanggap, kasi wala tayong ginagawa, kundi isaksak na isaksak ang sarili natin, na ako Lord, ako Lord, unahin nyo po ako, ipinagpapalik ko ang sarili ko. And the Lord likes to hear from us prayers for other people. And when we do pray for other people, the Lord heals them and us. Kaya tatandaan nyo yun, mahalaga to pray for other people. Kumisan yan ang napakalaking elemento na nawawala sa prayer life natin. Praying for others. Remember that as you pray for others, you procure blessings for yourselves. Napakaganda ang isipin ninyo. And then, finally, I won't be long, pray simple prayers. Sabi sa James 5.15, And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. In other words, in faith. And it should be simple. Childlike prayers are best. Yung iba akala mo, pag magpe-pray, kailangan gandahan. Pag pinag-lead mo ng prayer, may mga kodigo pa para maganda, para impressive. No. Pray from the heart. The simpler the prayer, the better. Napakahalaga to have childlike faith. So, If you want a more exciting prayer life, unang-una, pray. You can never have a good prayer life by hearing about prayer, by reading about prayer, by learning about prayer. Katulad din ng basketball, o ng volleyball, o ng swimming, hindi ka pwedeng magkaroon ng good swimming, or good basketball, or good volleyball, nang binabasa mo lang yung manual na how to play basketball. Kahit basahin mo yun ang basahin at madinig mo ng madinig how to dribble, how to shoot, and how to run, and this and that, eh hindi ka pa rin nagbabasketball. At maraming tao ang hilig-hilig mag-aral how to pray, hindi naman nagpe-pray. Basa ng basa, dinig ng dinig about prayer, pero hindi naman nagpe-pray. So hindi na pa-practice. Remember, when you pray, you begin to receive very specific answers. And that will encourage you to pray some more. To be more prayerful. And when we are more prayerful, we get more revelations and answers from the Lord, which again encourages us to even become more and more and more prayerful. You've got to break into the cycle. At kailangan, kailangan yun. Alam nyo lahat ang bagay na ito. Ang mahalaga, maalala natin to bring back prayer into our lives. Bring back the habit of prayer into our lives. And in our prayer, be sincere, be specific, be selfless, Be simple, and you will get results. Heavenly Father, we thank you for reminding us about very basic things about our faith, especially prayer. At patuloy, Panginoon, in our personal lives, makita mo na lalo kaming lumalapit sa iyo through prayer. At alam namin, Lord, marami po kayo mga blessing na naghihintay lamang ng tamang panahon when you see us praying for others and caring for others. All the more that you will pour down blessings upon us like you did to Job. So teach us, Lord, to pray to pray sincerely, to pray in faith, to pray simple prayers, to pray selflessly. Father, we praise and thank you for this reminder in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.